and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well in today's video i am going to do kylie jenner rise and shine makeup hack and makeup tutorial i'm going to be following all the tips and tricks that she has so if you are interested then please keep on watching but before we jump into the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss every time i post my new video so yeah let's jump into the video okay so i have already prepped my skin and now i'll be using the laneige lip care sleeping mask for moisturizing my lips Now moving on to the next step, I'll be applying Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer to ensure that my pores are nicely prepped for the foundation we are going to apply. I'm just going to take this much on the back of my hand and I'm going to concentrate it on the areas that I have pores. And whatever is left, I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Okay, so the primer is done and the next hack she uses is using a highlighter or a strobing cream inside her foundation. For that, I'll be using the MAC strobing cream. This is in the shade Pink Light. This is a wonderful product. I'm just going to use it before applying my foundation. So, I'm going to take this much first. My skin is already very oily and this is again making my skin look very shiny but this is not very chunky and shimmery so that's really great and I can see my skin is glowing from within so I really like this. Now for foundation I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless and this is in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. This matches my skin perfectly, it has a warm undertone. So I'm going to be mixing the Smack Strobing Cream in this as well. And this is a new version, it comes with a pump which is really handy. So I'm just going to take two pumps for my full face. Next I'll be taking one drop of strobing cream in there. I'm just going to mix it onto the back of my hand. Apply it all over my face. I'll be using a pack 265 Krabuki brush to blend my foundation because I have seen Kylie using and since we are trying to copy her look, I am going to stick to what she is using. And she also takes it to her eyes as well. My base is looking really shiny and you know glowing from within. I have never tried a makeup like this. And next she uses a beauty blender just to make sure any brush marks that she has just vanishes. So I'm doing that. I don't usually face foundation streaks while using a brush but she is the pro moving on to the concealer i'll be using sugar magic wand concealer and this is in the shade 45 Konpana. i am just going to use a very little concealer just like kylie does she uses a brush to blend out her concealer but i'm just gonna stick to my beauty blender because i don't have a concentrated concealer blending brush so I'm just gonna stick to what I have I'm really happy with how my base is looking now for setting my concealer in place I'll be using the fit me compact powder this is in the shade 25 medium moyen The next hack that she has is baking after you apply your bronzer. So for bronzing my face, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I am just going to use this dark shade right here. This is looking really nice. I've never, I always bake and then bronze but I am sure that this is the reason why her face looks so snatched. Okay, now 
bronzing is done let's move on to baking our face so again for the baking i'll be using the fit me matte plus poreless loose powder i am just going to take this sponge moving on to the eyes she uses the mixture of both warm and cool tone um, it's like a cool tone brown and like a warm tone brown and I put this right in my crease brown so I'll be using this palette that I have and I'll be using this Pro Arte PE22 brush I'll be using this warm tone brown and this cool tone brown and I will mix it and then use it all over my crease just like Kylie does She tells कि उसका जो makeup artist है, वो जो भी crease में जो shade होता है, he touches it to the eyebrow, and that's what I am also gonna do. And I think it is really looking very nice. Next, she uses a very light color just to apply in the middle part. So I am also using my finger just like she does. Now moving on to the next hack, she has actually advised to use a brown eyeshadow as an eyeliner which I absolutely love. I have done it million times so I know it is a really great hack. For that, I will be using the Colourpop Nude Mood palette and basically I was looking for a really dark brown shade and this shade right here is really dark. So I am just taking this brush to apply my eyeliner. Okay, my eyeliner is looking really funny but I think it's because my brush was too broad so I will fix that later but before I just want to remove the bake okay so I have removed all the baking and this is how my face is looking right now I want to fix my eyeliner because that is looking really weird so I'm just gonna use this banana powder on the back of this sponge so I'm just taking that much and I'm going to try to clean it and make it thin as possible. She also applies the eyeliner onto her inner corner giving it a foxy eye look. So I'm going to do the same but this time I'm just going to use a very thin brush and again taking the same brown shade. how my eye makeup looks and I'm really happy let's move on to the next hack now let's move on to the eyebrows for eyebrows she has mentioned that line your brows brush them downwards and use a highlighter next brushing all the hairs down and then lining the top of your eyebrow so i have already done that now i'm just lining my brows it actually looks good now for highlighting my brow bone i'll be using the color pop highlighter this is in the shade wisp and this is a gorgeous highlighter Moving on to the blush, I'll be using the Wet n Wild color I can blush. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. My face also, I'm just using the same highlighter. done let's move on to the next hack that she has is applying the mascara but let the wand touch your skin i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that because the chances are that i'm gonna poke my eye with the wand so let's just do it but first i'm gonna curl my eyelashes for the mascara i'll be using the maybelline lash sensational mascara this is i've been using this mascara for way too long writing we have chuka. I think the significance here is when the wand will touch your eyes it is going to give you effect of a tight lined eye 
so i think that is the idea behind it i've tried my best to put the wand into my eyes like really close and you can see the above part of my eyelid is giving a tight line eye effect i'm just going to use this and line my lips i usually fill it all in using a lip liner but she just outlines so that's what i'm going to do and for the lipstick i'll be using the huda beauty matte liquid lipstick this is in the shade trend setter and this is again a really pretty nude brown shade and she applies it onto the center this is what makes her looks really poppy and i think this is because she uses a dark lip liner around the lips to line her lips and then the lipstick only on the center so that it makes her lips look really juicy and i really like this effect this the lipstick is done and this is the finished look and and i'm really happy how this look have turned out let me just sum up for all the hacks that i really like number 1 using a strobe cream before you apply your foundation gets a 10 on 10 because i was always under the notion that if you have an oily skin you don't want to use or layer too many products that will eventually after the time goes will give you your shine back to the skin because i think i was literally too scared like if i'm going to use a strobing cream all over my face my skin is really oily and it will eventually make it more oily but that is not the case and i really love this hack and i'll be using it religiously from now on if i have to go to a party or function second hack that i really liked was bronzing before you bake i mean you can easily go overboard with the baking afterwards but you have to be sure that you you know bake it within the limit i really like the effect that bronzing gave to my face and i will make sure that after bronzing i will use a baking little less so that my face doesn't look too much you know baked so i really like that next hack that i absolutely loved was the lip liner hack which is using the lip liner only to line your lips if you have watched my videos you know that i use a lip liner and then fill it all in but that's not i am going to do from now on i'll be using the lip liner just to line my lips and then using the lipstick to fill in because it gives a little bit of contouring effect to your lips and it really looks amazing so i'm going to be following that the last two hacks which were the mascara wand hack i was okay okay with it not too much i mean if you are going to apply a mascara with the wand it will eventually touch your eye skin but you have to be little careful that you don't poke the wand so that is that hack and another hack which i was not sure that i'm going to be doing it from now on is the eye shadow as an eyeliner i mean you can do it if you have a really thin brush so that is it for today's video i hope you like this video and if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel it would mean absolute world to me and thanks for watching till then next time bye